Here are 14 tips to help you master the mountain. Kill golems easily with an iron buckler and mace. Parry the golems with your shield and use your secondary attack while they're staggered to deal double damage. This works with a level 1 iron buckler and zero blocking skill. Trap golems in a pit to prevent them from spawning. New golems will not spawn at that location until the trapped one is killed. Parrying wolves based on their attack animation is quite difficult. Instead, parry them based on their growl. They will always growl right before attacking. The Ag Gear is an excellent weapon to use against wolves. Its secondary attack causes a 360 knockback and staggers. Be sure to stand at the same elevation as the wolves to avoid missing. Frostner is another great weapon against wolves. Its knockback will push wolves away from you and its slowing effect will reduce their movement and attack speed. To counter the freezing effect, use Frost Resistance Mead. Several items can permanently counter the freezing effect. Prioritize crafting the wolf fur cape. If you're new to the mountains, stick to exploring during the day as starred wolves and Fenring only spawn at night. To climb steep terrain, hold sprint and spam jump, then rest on rocks and flat terrain when your stamina is low. Or while holding sprint, pickaxe the ground in front of you, then sprint or jump into the foothold. Find tetra fish and super rare frost caves which have a thawed lake at the bottom of the cave. You can find tetra on the ground or fish them from the lake by using cold fishing bait. Mark the location of this cave on your map as a fish will respawn with time. Additionally, you'll need one tetra to make the fishing hat. Kill drakes easily by using fire arrows. Wait to shoot them until their patrol animation ends and they hover in place. Drakes are weak to fire and will continue taking damage over time. Wolves that spawn at night will despawn during the day if you leave the immediate area unless you've already started taming them. Taming can start during day or night. In previous versions of Valheim, taming had to begin at night. Taming them in a pit is a great way to cage them without having to repair pen walls to keep them from escaping. Conserve resources by starving your tamed animals. They cannot starve to death. Instead, give them food if you need them to heal or reproduce. Silver veins spawn at an elevation of 120 meters plus. Drakes and obsidian spawn at 100 meters plus. If you see those, you can gauge if your mountain is high enough to find silver. As you explore the mountains, you'll come across ruins or huts. Make sure to explore these as they will sometimes contain chests with onion seeds. This is the only way to cultivate onions. Collect dragon eggs as you encounter them. You will need three eggs to summon Motor, the mountain boss. Mark the location of these eggs on your map as they do respawn after eight hours of playtime. Transport heavy silver, obsidian, and dragon eggs down the mountain by putting them in a cart and tossing it down the mountain. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.